What specific problem does your method aim to solve regarding machine learning models and modular arithmetic? Our method aims to solve the problem of machine learning models struggling to perform modular addition, particularly for larger values of n up to 256 and q up to 3329, which has been a significant limitation in prior work that only addressed smaller cases with n lex 6 and q lex 1000. We identify three key factors that hinder models' ability to learn modular arithmetic. The lack of diverse training data, insufficient inductive bias for modular addition and unsuitable loss functions. To address these issues, we construct a more diverse training dataset using specific probability distributions, introduce an angular embedding to better represent the modular arithmetic structure, and design a custom loss function that prevents convergence at local minima. Our approach significantly improves the performance of ML models in learning modular addition, enabling them to generalize effectively to complex modular arithmetic tasks relevant in number theory and cryptography. How does your proposed method work? Illustrate the steps involved in your approach, including data preparation, model architecture, and loss function design. Our proposed method for enabling machine learning models to perform modular addition involves several key steps, data preparation, model architecture, and loss function design. First, we enhance data preparation by generating a diverse training dataset using two probability distributions, F and G. The distribution, F, introduces simpler training examples with more zero elements, while G ensures representation of distributional tails, which are critical for generalization. Next, we utilize an encoder-only transformer model with an angular embedding, which represents input integers modulo Q as points on the unit circle, effectively capturing the modular arithmetic structure. This model architecture leverages self-attention mechanisms to learn relationships between input elements, making it suitable for the task. Finally, we design a custom loss function that combines mean squared error, MSE, with an additional penalty term to prevent convergence at local minima, particularly the origin of the unit circle. This loss function encourages the model to predict outputs on the unit circle, aligning with the modular arithmetic requirements. Together, these steps significantly improve the model's ability to learn modular addition across various n and q values. Can you provide a detailed example of how your method performs modular addition? Walk through the steps of your algorithm using specific values for $n$ and $q$. To illustrate how our method performs modular addition, let's consider a specific example where n equals 20 and q equals 257. First, we generate our training data using two distributions, f for simpler versions of the problem and g for ensuring representation of the full data distribution. For instance, we might use f underscore inv underscore sqrt to create sparse vectors with a certain number of zeros and g underscore interval to sample instances whose sums fall within the distribution tails. Next, we represent each input integer modulo, q, as an angle on the unit circle using our angular embedding, where an integer, a, is encoded as phi equals 2 pi frac a, q. For example, if we have elements, x underscore 1, x underscore 2, l dots, x underscore 20, with values, 10, 20, 30, hell dots, 200, each, x underscore i, is converted to its corresponding angle. During training, we utilize a custom loss function that combines mean squared error with a penalty term to prevent convergence at local minima, ensuring the model learns effectively. After training, when we input a new set of values, the model computes the sum, s equals sum underscore i equals 1 carat 20, x underscore i mod 257. If the sum, s is for example, 2100, the model will output, 2100 mod 257 equals 2108, times 257 equals 2100 minus 2056 equals 44. Finally, we evaluate the model's performance by comparing the predicted angle corresponding to S against the ground truth angle, ensuring that the model's predictions are accurate within a margin of error, demonstrating its capability to perform modular addition effectively. 
What are the key theoretical and practical benefits of your method compared to previous approaches to modular arithmetic in machine learning? The key theoretical benefit of our method lies in addressing the limitations identified in prior work, specifically, the need for diverse training data, appropriate model representations, and suitable loss functions. By constructing a more diverse training dataset using tailored probability distributions, we enable models to generalize better across a wider range of modular addition problems, significantly improving performance on tasks involving larger n and q. Practically, our introduction of an angular embedding allows the model to represent inputs and outputs as points on the unit circle, which aligns more closely with the structure of modular arithmetic, enhancing the model's inductive bias. Additionally, our custom loss function mitigates the issue of local minima convergence, ensuring that the model learns effectively rather than getting stuck. Overall, our methods allow models to learn modular addition for n up to 256, and Q up to 3,329, outperforming previous approaches that were limited to N LEC 6 and Q LEC 1000. How did you validate the effectiveness of your method? What datasets and performance metrics did you use? And how did they demonstrate your method's improvements? To validate the effectiveness of our method, we generated a held-out test set of size 100,000, distinct from the training set, containing examples drawn uniformly from Z underscore Q caraten. We employed several performance metrics, including mean squared error MSE of angle predictions, percentage accuracy, exact correctness, and percentage accuracy with a margin of error, tau relative to Q. Our results showed that the models achieved an MSE near zero across various N and Q values, indicating strong convergence and learning capabilities. Notably, the tau equals 0, 5% accuracy approach 100% for all models, meaning that nearly all predictions were within PM16 of the correct answer for Q equals 3329. This performance significantly outperformed prior work, which had MSEs of 1, 0 and less than 1% accuracy, demonstrating the substantial improvements brought by our diverse training data distribution, angular embedding, and custom loss function. What limitations did you encounter with your method in the context of modular addition or its extension to other operations? What areas do you believe require further research or improvement? In our work on modular addition, we encountered limitations primarily related to the model's performance as the values of N and Q increased, particularly noting that percent accuracy declined with larger Q values while N remained constant. This suggests that the model's ability to generalize is more sensitive to the magnitude of Q than to N. Additionally, while our methods significantly improved learning for modular addition, we observed that the model still struggled with elements in the distributional tails indicating that further refinement in training data generation could enhance performance in these areas. Furthermore, while we successfully extended our methods to other modular arithmetic functions, the complexity of these functions may require additional research to fully understand the limits of our approach. Future work should focus on optimizing the training data distribution and exploring more complex modular operations to improve model robustness and accuracy.